Hi, I'm Dawn Ramirez. I am the Certification Coordinator for Escambia County School District in Pensacola, Florida. And I'm going to talk to you about uh, applying to be a teacher in Florida and the teacher certification process. One of the first things that you want to do when you're looking for a job in Florida, you also want to make sure that you're eligible to be certified in the state of Florida. So you can apply at the exact same time that you're applying for positions you can do it in the or you can do it before you ever even pursue positions it's really up to you and there's no right way or wrong way um, but they both have to be done before you can get hired so you want to go to Florida Department of Education website Florida Teachers Bureau and then you're going to apply online there's an online application and you'll uh, answer all their questions such as what, what area you're certified in, what subject areas you've taken, whether or not you have a state certificate from another uh, an out-of-state certificate and then you'll submit all of that information to them through the mail or uh, your transcripts usually are sent electronically. They'll ask for official transcripts. Then when all of that comes in to the Florida Teachers Bureau then your account will be evaluated and then they will send you, they being Florida Department of Education, will send you a statement of eligibility that tells you that you are eligible to teach the area that you applied for, or it will say you're not eligible to teach for the area you applied for, and it will give you the things, the items that you need to do in order to be eligible to apply, such as if you applied for reading and you did not have enough reading um, courses with your bachelor's degree then they will send you a statement saying that you need another nine hours or another 12 hours or something like that in order to complete reading but we do have reciprocity with all of the other states so if you have a professional certificate in another state then florida will honor that professional certificate you'll be applying online to florida department of education send in a copy of your certificate front and back even if there's nothing on the back they want a copy of front and back and they want you to send your official transcripts and then they will honor that certificate and issue you a Florida certificate in the exact same way. If you have never taught in the state of Florida, then you're going to need to send your transcripts, any subject area exams that you've taken, even though Florida Department of Education may have a copy of them, if you've taken them years ago, they may not have a copy of them. So you do want to submit your subject area exams. Obviously, it's required for you to have a bachelor's degree. Um, you can either have it in an education area. If you do have it in an education area and you had a student teaching component, then you'll be issued a certificate without um, any problems um, and without any requirements. If you have, have a bachelor's degree and you have a desire to teach, but it wasn't in an education area, then you can take a subject area exam in the state of Florida and in a subject area that you're interested in. Let's say you want to be a, a math teacher but your degree is in criminal justice. Your degree can be in anything that you want it to be in or that it was in and you can take a subject area exam in any core subject area such as math, English, science, social studies, um, business ed, agriculture and uh, family and consumer science and then that subject area exam and your bachelor's degree transcripts that are submitted to the state of Florida, um, you will receive a temporary certificate in that subject area exam. So I'm going to back up and say, let's say I had a criminal justice degree and I wanted to teach math or English. I went and took the subject area exam. I applied to the state of Florida. The state of Florida sees I have a bachelor's. They see that I've taken a subject area exam. They issue me a temporary certificate in that area. Math is what I said. And then they're going to send you a statement of eligibility. And that eligibility letter will say, during the next three years, you must meet these requirements. Temporary certificates are good for three years in the state of Florida. And you'll have requirements such as the first year is a general knowledge test that you must take and you'll have a professional ed exam that you'll need to take but you'll be given three years to take that exam 
and you'll have coursework that you need to take because you are not teacher trained. The coursework is education courses such as methods of teaching, uh, student assessment, and items like that in order for you to learn how to be a better teacher um, and to teach you to be confident and goal oriented as far as uh, teaching. And you'll be given three years to do that. Many districts in the state of Florida have alternative certification programs where you don't have to take those hours at a university. You can simply go through the district program, which is generally a 10-month program. And once you complete those, that 10-month program with the school district, then that knocks out your coursework. And we submit that you have completed that alternative certification program. So remember, there's a couple of different ways that you can get certified in the state of Florida. One is by having a professional certificate, and the other is by have, uh, going through an alternative certification program. If you have any questions, further questions about that, then you're going to want to contact Florida Department of Education Teachers Bureau. When you click on their website on the left-hand side, there'll be a contact. It'll say, Contact Us. And if you'll just email them a question, or you can call them, they have people that have been hired specifically to do nothing but answer the phone and return emails to prospective teachers. So I hope you'll do that, and uh, I don't think that you will have any problems. They also have a frequently asked question um, site that may answer some of your questions. And just as a last note, one of the things to, that I want to tell you is that uh, when you are hired, for one of the districts, you will have to get fingerprinted, and, the and it'll be an extensive background check that will go all the way back to when you were a teenager. So you want to make sure that you have a clean record and that um, you realize that a lot of counties are going tobacco-free, meaning that you cannot smoke when you, uh, in order to be a teacher. You may um, also need to know that you'll be drug tested. You know, so you want to be tobacco-free and uh, drug-free and have a clean record in order to be successful as a teacher. So I wish you the best and good luck to you.